let's play a game. If you stop trying to escape, I'll untie you. Please, sweetheart. It hurts me so much when you look at me with those eyes. Seeing you cry is... It's not something I enjoy. It breaks my heart. But I need you here. And tying you up is the only way I've found to make you stay still. You must hate me now. And I'm so sorry for that. But you have to understand that we're made for each other. I love you. I love you. And you're going to love me back one way or another. Even if you don't, I'll still take care of you. You don't actually need to love me back. But please, please don't run away from me anymore. It's getting exhausting. You know... You're cuter when you're asleep. I could... I could make you sleep. Would you like that? I knew it. You want to stay awake. So keep quiet. And I'll explain everything. I wanted you to notice me for so long. I used to put so much effort into it, but you just ignored me. I sent you so many messages, goodnight texts, that sort of thing. Even a few declarations of love, but you didn't respond to any of them. I tried sending love letters, <laughs> how beautiful they were. I was proud of them all. Everything I said in those letters came straight from my heart. It was sincere. And I still mean every single word I said to you. I love you in a way that you could never imagine. My love for you is so strong that I even bought a house for us. So that you can be with me. So that we had a place to stay. Together. That's how much you mean to me. You still want to go home? How silly of you. But, but seriously, honey. You're already home. Do you like your room? I tried to make it look exactly like your old room. So that you could feel at home. I'm confident I did a good job. You just maybe need to get used to the environment. I promise you, all you need is time. You're gonna love it here one day. And that day, we will finally have our happy ever after. Together. Forever. With nobody to get in my way. Nothing will ever be able to prevent that from happening. Not even you, love. But you're free to be yourself here. I won't judge you, not one bit. So tell me, why did you purposefully avoid me all this time? Why did you never acknowledge my existence? Please. I'm eager to know. Tell me. Come on. Tell me. <laughs> You're sorry now. You're so cute. But you don't need to apologize. I forgive you. None of that matters now. I fixed everything. I fixed your mistake. And I'm going to fix you, just like you fixed me, because you deserve it. You deserve only the best. 
No, no, no. Please stop shaking. You know I hate seeing you in that state. How about this? I will tell you a story about how I first fell in love with you. Okay? And I'll stroke your hair while I do. Maybe you'll feel better that way. Everything is okay now. It's okay. You're okay. I hope I can make you feel safe. Because you always make me feel comfortable and safe. So, when I was little, my parents used to fight. A lot. They were always screaming and throwing stuff at each other. It, it wasn't a sane atmosphere. And that was definitely not a place for a child to grow up in. Sometimes, they would hurt me. Not on purpose, of course, but I still remember the day I received a knife straight through my right hand. They didn't even bother to drive me to the hospital. That's why I have a finger that doesn't really work. When I was six, my parents finally broke up. My dad left, and I was now alone with my mom. She got worse. She was always putting me down, and reminding me that I was a failure and I believed her because she was my mom and I trusted her and because I could tell that she meant it to her I was an accident an unfortunate mistake school was not much better the other students bullied me because I was different. You see, my mom never bought me new clothes, and anywhere I went, I was an outsider. My life was gray, sad, and meaningless. But all of that changed the day I met you. You were as bright as the sun, as pretty as a starry sky. You're the first and only person who made me feel seen. You always smiled at me when we saw each other. Remember? We never actually talked, but that was useless. There was something special between us, and I just knew that you could feel it too. But... Then you went and moved, and I felt betrayed. Skipping town all of a sudden, with not even a word to me. I had to work hard to find your new address, but I finally did. And now we're here. Do you understand why I can't let you go? Do you see... I put so much effort into this. I worked very hard to buy this house in the middle of nowhere, and I did it for you. It was painful sometimes, and I worked until I passed out many times, but we're going to be so happy now, so it was worth it. You are beautiful. I promise you that I will never make you cry again. You only deserve the best. I know you haven't had an easy life either. You were suffering. People hurt you. And have already made some of them pay for it. And soon, the rest will pay too. I swear. So just trust me. Trust me with your safety, 
and with your life. Let me be your guardian, your partner, and your best friend. I want to be everything for you. I'd even accept being just your pet. Because... Because I love you. You're hungry. Uh, yes, love, of course. Let me go get you some breakfast. I can make you your favorite. Finally. You're smiling again. <laughs> I'll be quick. I know exactly how you like it. I even took cooking lessons for you. So, don't worry. Leave it to me. <laughs>